And there we go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Smithified Podcast. Today we're on lucky number episode 13. I know it's been a while, already. It's been two months and we're back. We're in a little bit different format today. We actually have face cams going, so let me know if you guys enjoy that. But today we're joined with a very special guest. We've got Exotic. How you doing, dude? Pretty good. How are yourself? We got, we got I, a little bit different this time. Yeah, we are. We are. We're definitely we improving. Got it's good stuff, man, because we both have come a long ways. We Basically, if you guys don't know, we did another podcast. I think it was episode number six. It was a couple months ago. And we promised that at a thousand subs, we do another one. So here we both are today. We have a thousand subscribers. So for the people who don't know who you are, why don't you uh, explain a little bit about your channel? Talk about what you do, honestly, because there's probably a lot of new people here that are listening and they probably don't know who you are, but a lot of the OG people would know you. So what do you do? What do you do? Um, so most of the time I stream like, you know, different games such as Fortnite, Call of Duty, mainly Fortnite lately, but I, I started up a few new different series lately, like a Minecraft one. And then mm-hmm. I've been doing a bunch of vlogs lately. And yeah, a little bit different from last time, but mostly yeah. just streaming. Yeah, and again, you're mainly just a streamer. That's about it. And yeah, how for many? The most part. How many videos do you make a week? Do you uh, have a... Um, lately, it's been one weekly vlog, a stream every day, pretty much, except for Sundays, mm-hmm. and then one video on Thursday for mm-hmm. Minecraft. Really? So you actually have a set schedule. That's something I've been struggling I'd... with is having an actual yeah. schedule. I really, I've really fallen off for the summer, but hey, it's all right. It's I'm all trying to come back as school comes back. I hope I can, I can get get a set set schedule. But here's, right. here's, a, right, here's a question I actually thought about, all right? Because I was listening back to our old podcast, the last one we recorded back in, like, February, March, something like that. And uh, in that mm-hmm. podcast, you were like, you were like, all right, so you said you were going to college to be a, what were you, what were you going to college for? It was going to be a psychologist. Yeah, a psychologist. And then I asked mm-hmm. you basically, which one's your backup plan, being a YouTuber, being a psycho- psychologist? And you said that uh, you really wanted to focus on being a YouTuber instead. Yeah. As you progress through the months, do you see that being a lot more possible, you being a YouTuber instead of... Yeah, being... and it's kind of bad because at this point in time, I actually decided to take a semester off because not only oh, because of financial-wise, really? but and YouTube. Wait, so you're going to take the first semester off this year? Yeah, I'm taking the... And the whole COVID situation because I don't really want to like, okay, have to yeah, do online that's, school. Yeah, and pay a fortune yeah. for that, I'm sure. That's probably yeah. not worth it. So you would say, yeah, do you see your like dream... You Would you say your dream job is being a YouTuber? Me, YouTuber, yes, for sure. And do you see that as being a lot more like a lot more possible now, or have you always thought that this could? Um, I've always had the mindset that it could be, but definitely now, definitely a little bit more. It possible. seems a lot more possible. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And what would you say over the months? Some things. Okay, let's say this. This is something I get a lot of my live streams. All right, somebody comes into your comment section and they ask you, mm-hmm. "Exotic, how do you how do you grow a YouTube channel? How do you get subs? What do you do? What are your? I'm sure this has happened to you before. What are your What are your tips? Um, mostly, like I said last time, I actually listened to the podcast before this episode too, but yeah, I actually, no. <laughs> uh, the same thing is just like, you know, search, like search engine, like things like SEO. I don't know if you heard about that, yeah, yeah. but then branding and such, and then tagging videos and just kind of making a community and like replying to comments, you know? Yeah. It's that just trying to be active, being active. Yeah, for sure, dude. And that's mm-hmm. something you're a lot better at. I think is the whole, like the whole building the brand idea. Cause you're like on Twitter, you're on everything. You're plugging everything. Oh, yeah. Twitch. How's Twitch working out best. for you? Twitch oh, Twitch right is good. I, yesterday, so I, I did a 24-hour live stream a few weeks back. Yeah. But then I said as soon as I hit 400 followers on Twitch, I do a 12-hour live stream. Mm-hmm. And so yesterday I got the, I got mm-hmm. the the 12-hour in almost. I had to stop it, but almost got it. Did there. you? How many hours did you get in? I I put in I think eight. So now that's, I have four hours left. I'm still gonna complete it. Though. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. How many like how yeah. many average viewers do you get on 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 Twitch? Yeah. On Twitch it was before like oh it depends on the game either 15 or eight. But that's this last one. Like almost thirty consistently. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was good. I got another question. All right, so I've watched I've watched your vlogs before, and like, uh-huh. are you comfortable like filming everybody to be in your yeah. vlogs? Because I've thought about like vlogging, and I just uh-huh. I can't like record my friends or anything. That'd just be too awkward. So have you have you told everybody about your YouTube channel and stuff? And yeah, everybody everybody knows. At, at yeah. first, I didn't really tell anybody, but like I started like opening up to my like my my old high school friends and everybody about it. Like before, mm-hmm. I didn't tell anybody because I was kind of like scared about it but now yeah. my, all my friends have also wanted to do the same thing that if you haven't tried to like start it off but now they're getting caught up with work and such but mm-hmm. and they don't really have the same mindset but now oh yeah they're, they're, they're very open being in front of the camera for sure for sure for sure because that's something mm-hmm. i'm struggling with honestly like last night i was at like a bonfire and like i didn't even yeah. want to bring up the fact they were like what are your hobbies i was like i don't even want to bring up the fact that i have like being a youtuber I don't, <laughs> what's what's with that why is it so weird to just tell people that you want to i, I don't make, know I, I personally think it's because like before I didn't want any of my like my old high school friends to see it because I didn't want them to like judge me in some sort of yeah. way. I don't like, it's different when you get like an internet troll saying you know your content sucks, but when someone you know personally says that, it's like I think it hits a little deeper. Yeah, I don't. You know, it's, it's weird, yeah. dude. People just yeah. like people are just so quick to shoot it down. Honestly, oh, just hate on you for like, sure. It's, it's so quick, so because I'm especially I'm the still, older generation. 
Oh yeah, for sure. They they don't understand <laughs> at all. Like I, my parents still barely know anything about my channel because first of all, they they just don't even like understand it. So I don't know. Right. I've never even just really took the time to tell them about it. But yeah, I'm right. definitely. I kind of want to start vlogging soon. I was wondering, like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna if be able to do tips. that. Yeah, because. Um. It's weird. Are you comfortable in front of a camera for the most part? Well, yeah, I am for sure. That's where I'm probably most comfortable, honestly. Yeah. Is making videos. So therefore, it's just I don't know. It, like for me personally, like I, I started doing weekly vlogs, right? And mm -hmm. I work a lot and do streaming a lot. So like it's hard to come up with outside ideas. But if mm -hmm. you have more time on your hands, you know, just kind of film whatever you can. You, yeah. Since you're going back to school this year, right? Yeah, yeah. In person too, which is nice. In person. So like, maybe you can film in school. I don't know how, how tough the laws will be yeah. in school about that. But <laughs> like, that's the, like, I know. couldn't. I couldn't just walk through the halls recording myself. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's that's I, a, that's a tough step to take. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, me, yeah like, me and my friends go play bowling a lot and like volleyball and dude, all these yeah. other things, and so it's like, like an opportunity to record it. Because like I think I can make some pretty good vlogs, but I don't want to just have it be me the whole time, which would right. eventually get boring, obviously. Right. So yeah, we gotta improve Definitely. on that. Definitely. Hey. All right, all right. Over the, all right. Let's evaluate ourselves as YouTubers, right? Okay. What What would you say some of your like strengths are as a YouTuber? Let's get into the interview format here. Um. So. Me personally, somehow I'm really good at multitasking, like for like chat wise, like I can like yeah. like play the game and read chat somehow yeah. very effectively. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I still fail to do a few different things every now and again. What about you? All right. Well, uh, I would say my strengths are I think I can make pretty good videos. Yes, like, I put, definitely. I put, like I put a lot of time into them, honestly, oh, yeah. and I got a lot of experience in that. And then let's, as far as weaknesses, like a schedule. I should probably yeah. I should probably get on a schedule, which is it's so difficult for me. Honestly, I don't even know anymore. Because like when I was starting out, obviously it was just Corona, and I had all day to do whatever I wanted. Uh -huh. and now it's just like I actually have to do stuff, and it's really mm -hmm. difficult for me to actually like do stuff every single day and set a set schedule because mm -hmm. I never know what's going to come the next next day. So right. I've been telling myself for months I'm going to make a schedule, but I honestly have no idea if that's ever going to happen. But yeah, that's that's where I'm at. What would you yeah. say? It's something you can improve on? What's something you can work on? Um. Definitely like the quality of my content, like quality over quantity. Cause a lot of the things I've been doing is like, like different creative streams in Fortnite and like, you know, just like playing with viewers. Yeah. And now like, it's kind of starting to fall off because the quarantine thing's over, you know, yeah. and, and summer's over. So school's coming back and like, yeah, just not as much of the same Fortnite stuff. Cause I stream yeah. that quite a bit. So change it up a little bit, which just is why you're trying to implement bit. the Minecraft series and that. Yes. That's that why stuff. I'm trying to, yeah. trying to get better at that. Mm -hmm. All right. So you've recently got monetized all right yes so congratulations on that Thank and you. and i was listening to an other podcast by the smith plays and he says money will change every single youtuber it's like since yes. you've gotten monetized have you seen like more motivation to make videos has it you think it's changed your content a little bit or um what do you think in a way i thought it would more and i thought i would like because like that was like like a thousand subs was a goal for a long time and i, I wasn't mm -hmm. sure what i was gonna do after that but now like it's definitely motivated me a little bit more but like not I still feel the same way I did before. Yeah, you do. All right, yeah, as I say, because I didn't really know what he meant by that. I mean, I, I guess we're not huge YouTubers yet. We're not getting, like, big sponsorship deals selling out or anything. But right. I guess maybe someday we'll experience that and see what he's actually talking about there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You want to you wanna talk about COD 2020? Oh, I'm excited. I can't you wait. Hyped? Are you going to hit that game hard? Oh, think? yes. I'm going to. Just because of the whole Fortnite thing. Fortnite's kind of dying. I'm kind of sick of playing it all it? the time. And I can't wait to play. Do you think... Four. You think as a game, Fortnite's finally dying? Or hopefully, <laughs> I know really? I, I shouldn't say that you because say that? really, that's why it's where I stream everything. But yeah, I'm I'm just sick of it. I've been playing it for three years consistently. You know, Is it but it's definitely old? dying. Definitely yeah. dying. I don't even know like anything about it anymore. I don't know. Yeah, I like I quit playing months ago. It was a great game three years ago, yeah. but now it's a right. lot of people. It's just falling off. So yeah, but looking forward to COD 2020. You think you're going to be streaming reveal like opening night? Um, streaming opening night. I definitely want to do my best to like get campaign videos out as soon as i can and see if that does anything Ooh, like campaign. see if they'll take off yeah. with the like the beginning of the game you mm -hmm. know or like anything about the game really any kind of video for it campaign videos you gonna hit zombies zombies live oh games? yeah for sure if they're for sure bro, imagine if there's not zombies i'd be so sad That'd i don't know what tough. they do with the storyline though but Ooh, is it gonna be chaos or oh, oh, i hope not i, I mean it probably is like gonna be they, they hyped it up yeah last I time so i don't think they'd start over but yeah whatever are you we excited get... about oh, sorry what Whatever we get, as long as it's zombies, I'm happy. Honestly, right. at the end of the day, so yeah. Are you excited about the like the Cold War aspect of it though? Ooh, yeah, for sure, man. The way they're like know your history, that's the theme or whatever, and they're just that's like cool. they're gonna make it like real life stuff. It's so interesting, right. dude. I love I Treyarch wait. is so good at that. Treyarch is so good at them ciphers and everything. 
So yeah. I uh, personally, the only, the only issue I have with the game so far is I just don't, I just wish it was Call of Duty Cold War, not Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. You know, there's Black Ops 1, title? 2, 3, okay, 4, that's, 5. That's not a very big problem when you look at it. Hey, yeah. But as long as, as long as they bring back like, all right, looking at it like multiplayer wise, they bring back like the Riot Shield, all that stuff. So you can actually have yeah. fun and troll people. If the Riot Shield's right. in the game, that just that's that's a game changer for me. That's funny right. content there, honestly. <laughs> it is. And two v twos. Did you like? How much Modern Warfare do you play? Honestly, um, when it first came out, was before I started streaming. Like I, I played a lot of it. I haven't really played it as much now, but mm -hmm. definitely still like it. Warzone's cool. You know, I, I play. Yeah. I try to get Damascus. That's like the camel, like the the black matter, dark matter, whatever it's yeah. called, Black Ops Three. Yeah, that's like, the equivalent yeah. in that game. Try. Would yeah. you? What are some features? Would you like to see 2v2 in the next Call of Duty as well? Because I think like, 2v2 do you mean, is a... Do you mean like gunfight-wise? Oh, yeah, gunfight, whatever, however yeah. that works. Oh, yeah, for sure. Gun yeah, that's a great feature. Cool. Would you want to see like another like Warzone type deal, or is that just, I don't know, um, another Battle Royale? I kind of despise it because of what Fortnite's done to everything. They all have Battle Passes now. Like Clash of Clans got a Battle oh, Pass. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, all right. But like Warzone would be cool because they do like Battle Royale. Okay, Royals. first of all. The Clutch Clans Battle Pass is very good, honestly. It gives you a lot of good stuff. <laughs> you want to talk about Fortnite on the gaming industry? Like, has oh, Fortnite I... done more good or bad? What do you think? Oh, um, it's done a lot. In my opinion, it's done good and bad because clearly it's, like, yeah. broken it's, it's... like gaming into mainstream media. Yeah, Because, like, so Ninja much. and all those Ninja guys. Got heat, and then, yeah. But at the same time, every game at least puts some sort of battle royale in their game or yeah, it's... microtransactions in any type of way, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of starting to get old. Like, I think... In terms of positives, obviously cross cross compatibility or whatever, playing yeah. on all consoles, that's a huge one, and I think that's going to be the like the standard now moving into the new consoles. So obviously Fortnite kind of started that out, so that's a huge one. Yeah, and then you know updates all the time. It also did that, and that's good stuff. But sometimes like, that can get to be a little too much, honestly. But, yeah, uh, battle royales. It everyone's making a battle royale now. It's just starting to get old. So <laughs> have you heard about Halo Infinite? No, I don't know. Everyone's What's saying it, it, so, like it's a new Halo, right? And it's gonna come yeah. with a new next gen of Xbox, and they say that they're gonna add a battle royale to it. So are they? <laughs> that's what cool. What do you know? What do nice, you nice, 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 nice. Yeah. Uh, what are you thinking for the next gen consoles? What are you thinking? Um, me personally, being I used to always like despise the PC Master Racers, you know, because they thought they were so much better. Because I hear that all, I used to hear that all the time in school. But now, since I have a PC, I think Oof. that it'd be sure. more like just to get a PC over a yeah. console because more okay. yeah it's yeah more. it's it's just a lot run games run a lot smoother right you know yeah i suppose you're not even gonna get a new console you think you know no unless i got uh, a capture card then i would but other yeah, than that you don't have the elgato yet i wouldn't that's a rip you should you should get them you should spend the monetization money on an elgato eventually yeah, on an so xbox we can, so we can finally make a zombies video right what, what, what's the new one called <laughs> uh the new elgato no the new what xbox uh the xbox series x or no is that what it's called? What's it called? I don't know. Scarlet? What are your thoughts what, about what is, that? About what? Because I personally despise that. <laughs> I, I just hate how it was Xbox 360, Xbox One, Xbox I, X, Xbox One X. Is that where we're at now? Is it the Xbox Series X? That was called. It's called something like that. It's called something you know, like that. Yeah. I don't have a big problem with that, honestly. Like, yeah. what, else, what else are they going to call it? I don't know. <laughs> so at the end, it's cool. But the PS5, yeah. Did know. you see the PS5 controller, though? Is it like the futuristic alien looking thing? It's a futuristic it one. Looks... I'm pretty sure the Xbox One is the normal Xbox One controller. Yeah, it's so. pretty cool. So that's good stuff. And like I, at this yeah. point, the consoles are just getting to the point where they're like, people are like comparing them to PCs, honestly. They're getting to that yeah. point. They can run multiple games at once and just. Because they can too, because I'm pretty sure they're they're promised 120 frames per second or something like that. Are so. they? Dang, that's good oh, stuff. Yeah. So yeah, big improvements. Looking forward to it. I'm probably going to get, I don't know, I said an Xbox in my like Q&A video, but. It comes down yeah. to whatever my friends are going to get, honestly. So, yeah, yeah, honestly. <laughs> honestly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's for sure. All right. I got a question for you. All right. Okay. This is going to be some, like, real-life advice, all right? Okay. Okay, so I'm currently I'm currently going to be a senior this year. Right. And I I got no idea, man, what I want to do with my life. Were you in this, like, position? Did you know at oh, all what you want to do with your life? Or definitely. You think because... a lot of people are like this? Um, kinda... Yes, for sure. Because at the same current, when I was your age, going into senior year, um, a lot of my friends already knew what they were going to do, like what colleges they're going to go yeah. to, they're going to join the military or not. And yeah. a lot of them did and kind of left me in the one college by myself. Mm -hmm. And so that was like, kind of like not really motivating enough anyway. But then I just picked up YouTube and like, that's all I wanted that's to do now. for you. So yeah. Did you have any idea that? No. 
No it idea just, at all. Picked it up. Oh. It just, but I've always wanted to do it, but like I never had no idea that I'd actually pursue it so hard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now you think, you think, it's got potential. This yes. could This could be it. Does it? Nice. nice. It's good. Hey, I see the merch by the way. I see the hat. Oh, thank you. you so like that, yeah. when when is the merch dropping? We got anything? At two K subs. Two K is it? And then what mm-hmm. are you at? Like one point seven four. One point seven. Yeah. One point seven. So coming soon, dude. I've. How do you how do you even like make merch? Because people have said they'd buy my merch, but I don't even know where you go for that. Honestly. Um, it's like through different a bunch of like so like it's one cool website called Shopify, and they work with other places. You can just design it. But I'm running into like different trial and error with it because I want to put different designs on, and they won't let you. So mm-hmm. I gotta branch out a little more and try to figure so it out. So you like it's a lot. Is it? Oh geez, I merch even, design is a lot. I, I just told people I was like, all right, well, it's merch coming at two K. I haven't even like put any right. thought into it, so I should probably yeah prepare okay. for that. Yeah, no, that's why I'm that's why I'm starting to prepare it now at 1,700 instead of yeah, like 1,900. Sure. Yeah, I got a lot. I got a long ways to go. So, yeah. but yeah, no, so okay. you just you just like design it yourself, or do you get somebody else to do that, or how's that? Oh, work? um, well, one of my other YouTube friends helped me design one one design for it, but other than that, I put on the shirts and make them myself and the mm-hmm. hoodies and that's all that stuff. Cool. You know, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. What would you say? Like the best part about having a YouTube channel, having an interactive fan base. What's What's the best part about that? Like my personal favorite you, part about yeah. it is like starting to stream up and then instantly being greeted by everybody and just gonna get a hangout with all these people that love to watch yeah, your videos and fun. it makes me happy. Yeah, dude, it's actually like it's the connections that I've built with it people is. around the world. It's like around cool. the world too. The internet is so interesting, man. Like I'm talking to people from like Canada, the UK and stuff, and like right. I, I talk politics with a guy from Seattle. I don't even know he, he's my, he's <laughs> one of my viewers. And it's just like, bro, I love the fact that the YouTube channel's brought all these right. people together and we can do that. So that's definitely one of my favorite things. Uh-huh. Um, bad things that can come with it, dude. Um, I, with the YouTube channel? A lot. <laughs> like like, like, my, like my, me personally? Yeah, sure. What do, you, what do you think? I've somehow like created like a whole, it's like kind of consume me in a little way, in a, in a way, like consume how I think. And so sometimes I just like put it before other things and that has like kind you of been bad. But like on. other than that, just like gr- numbers, looking at numbers is bad too. Oh, looking at my analytics all the time. Yeah, yeah analytics yeah. all the time. I, I, I don't do that very often, that. honestly. I don't really. Yeah. I guess I'm not like relying on YouTube as a source of income, so I don't really have any. Oh, yeah, exactly. Any I'm happy I'm doing not. that. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Would you say? Are you are you in a good state with your channel, or would you say you're getting worn out, or because you've been grinding um, like every single day? Are you just fresh, or what do you think? I was for a minute, and then. As soon as school started, I started seeing like a decrease in viewership, and it definitely kind of demoted me, like demoted me a little bit, but made me realize I need to change up a few different things. Yeah. And now I feel like I'm back on it. You do. I'm good still. That's good. How Just, are you feeling about it? Um, you know, I like okay during like the lockdown and everything. Like YouTube was just uh-huh. my main priority. Every day it was get a video out. Right. And now ever since like uh, lockdowns have been stopping, I've been like going out to the farm in the lake. I kind of put YouTube like behind on not back burner, yeah, yeah for sure because like my friends will be like hey you want to go to the lake and i'll have to edit a video and i'll be like i'm gonna i'm gonna spend time with my friends right now over editing a video because yeah. i only really got like a year left with them realistically so i'd rather uh-huh. do that i mean not to hate on the viewers or anything but that's just where i'm at right now for sure i'd yeah. rather i'd rather just go hang out with my friends and then yeah so I, in fer- in terms of being burned out i wouldn't say i'm burned out i just have a hard time finding times to make having time a hard, that's, yeah that's my biggest yeah, problem see i'm mm-hmm. not burned out because like you know, I feel like for the last couple of months, my I don't know, I just haven't really been happy with my content at all. Ever since I stopped uploading every single day, but yeah. You know. But like that's still like, that's one thing I've always admired about you is because like, you found a way to grow off of only videos, and that's something I'm still struggling to like figure out. Is how to grow off videos. Yeah, that's tough, isn't it? Like honestly, like Minecraft tutorials videos, man. Yeah. Those hit, those hit the search algorithms because like people will actually search for those videos and they'll show up. Yeah. So I don't know. I should get I should get back to going those. If you go to like my top videos, it's just Minecraft tutorial videos. Yeah. What is <laughs> I suppose your top video is probably a stream, or what are you? Um, top video, yes, was one of the twenty-four hour streams. Oh yeah, that was a grind. How okay? How did that work? Did you the tw- the twenty-four hour stream? Yeah, were you just um, dying by the end I... of that? Oh, oh, so <laughs> yeah. Like I was going, my Wi-Fi died. Turn it back on. Had to start it back up. Died again after two hours. Had of to start course. it back up. And wow, then... dude. By I think five hours out of it, if you look back at the old clips, I was like, I feel like I was gonna literally gonna die. I felt sick in my stomach and everything. That's and how like, it works. Of course, when you have to set up the 24 hour live stream, everything's going to break down. Yeah. I had to end it. Oh, yeah. Wait, did, what'd you did say? You get, did you go a full 24 hours? No, I, I made it 19. Ooh. 
Are you going to finish that f five hours out sometime yet? No, uh, maybe. No. I don't know. Maybe I was like up. dead. I ended it with 60 people in there. I don't know how I ended it. 60 people. And not, yeah, not, I, like I, a, not like a view bot either. Not, not, not a view bot. Have you, have you got view bot yet? I know I haven't. Lucky. Nah. Lucky. But 60, 60 concurrence, really. Yes. That's good. Because I, I, Ooh, I, don't know I think it. going back to the old video, you said you wanted to have like 100 concurrence. That's like your one of your goals. And that's uh -huh. crazy. So to see you getting 60, that's pretty good, man. That's, that's good stuff. I think most of it had to do with hype, though. Like the hype around the 24 hour live stream, you know? Oh, yeah. You're really hyping that up. I yeah. saw that for sure. Yeah. That's one thing I should do is like build up hype for the live streams. Like I'll just hop on the live streams just randomly in a random time and <laughs> like that. That's another strength that I should have is my live stream timing. I just do it whatever really because I never know what I'm gonna have in store. So yeah, that's where we're at. The live streams have gotten better for sure, definitely. Like when I've been watching yours, like your starting soon screen is way cool. Oh yeah, <laughs> I made that one day in iMovie. <laughs> yeah, dude, the overlays definitely help. Like I think oh, yeah. overlays help live stream so much, like the face cam and think, stuff, yeah. which is which I just love the way they look. Which is what I anticipated, and it's good to see that that worked out. And I think it, uh -huh. you know, to have the donation shows up in the chat in the corner, I think it really helps interest. And like, okay, look at your streams. You got like uh, Nightbot and stuff, or Streamlabs bot. Yeah. I don't even have that set up yet. I should probably do that. It it definitely helps out a lot with a few different things. Cause yeah, yeah, well, well yeah, like plug in Discord and stuff. And yeah, yeah. So like, Nightbot t tells timers for each of my social medias, and then you can type it to get my epic yeah. to play with me on Fortnite. And then yeah, like, Streamlabs has a point system built in that viewers get ten points every five minutes watching your stream, yeah. and therefore they can gamble those points and like yeah. see who gets the most points. Yeah, so I was going to talk about that. It. That's really interesting. I yeah, I need to set that up. Wow. Yeah, my streams um, can definitely yeah. be improved on for sure. Okay, so moving so, on. What do you think about goals with the YouTube channel? What do you think? Long term, short term? We did this in the last episode, but let's do it right now as well. What are you thinking? Um, what should, what should the like, first short term be? All right. What are we thinking? Like the end of the year, probably sub count. End of 2020. Um, so. hopefully 3000. That yeah. might be over. I think so. I think last time our, our, our short term was a thousand, wasn't it? I believe it. It might've been, I guess I don't quite remember, but yeah, it could have yeah. been 3000 by the end of the year. Okay. That's fair. I'm going to, I guess I'll go with 2000 by the end of the year then. Let's see how, how long far away is the end of the year. It's August already. Bro, I think you'll be. I think I'll be good. I'm really just hoping that like I hit call the next Call of Duty hard, and then like yeah. some videos will blow up, and then I'm just hoping someday my channel blows up. Honestly, that's kind of what I'm relying on. Yeah, that's really what I'm hoping for. Honestly, I, I feel like that day's gonna come eventually, but I don't know. I guess I just gotta keep making content. Obviously. Yep. But uh, what do you think? Like the end of the school year next year? What What are we thinking for that? And end of school year next year. May Ooh. June. That could be a lot because like in the last couple months we've our channels have grown a lot so. If they continue yeah, on and that. I think a lot of it was due to quarantine. So like, and yeah. next year when everyone's in school and we're in school, maybe four thousand for me. I feel like that's what. By the end really of by the end of the school year this year. And end of school 4, year. See, I I said like ten thousand a long time ago. Ten thousand. That's kind of a lot, but I don't know, man. Hey, that be you it, never know. Some people have made that happen, so maybe ten thousand. That'd be crazy. Yeah, because you know, bro, the internet you could just like blow up overnight if you make some, yeah. like, half decent content. So you know, just doing again, I just stupid most of the time. Let's see. Are you, you think it's someday you're just gonna like blow up overnight? Because I don't know. I just feel like I'm gonna head to make I've a video. I've always eventually. thought about that, but if I continue to I grind, know. I think one of my videos will eventually maybe get some traction. Yeah, I've like tried to get traction before, but I, I haven't been able to like, really think about that because I don't know how to do it. So like, therefore, if an algorithm somehow picked up a video and it yeah, went be, up like overnight, that'd, that'd be nice. cool. But so you're kind of just the consistent uploading, just being you, and yeah, yeah. your channel's growing at a pretty good rate. So I mean, nothing to complain about there. What I've noticed as is, is like my upload schedule has I've just started uploading randomly, not being consistent. Right. I think one of the biggest things with like having people getting people on the channel is being consistent. Like I my like subscriber growth has like dropped a lot in the last like three months. Yeah, and yeah, that's um, I think that's a result of that for sure. Is it um, demotivating at all to you? Um, not really. Honestly, I don't know. Not really. I mean, I'm still because... just out here doing what I can. Making a few videos at, here at one point, like I looked at that at same chart that you were talking about, and I was looking at the analytics of last month for the, for the twenty four hour live stream, and it buffed my numbers up so much. Yeah. So now for like the past three weeks, it's just been going down that, because of that, the twenty four hours crazy. Yeah, but, but that, that's not to motivate you, is it? You're just uh -uh. chilling. Yeah. It didn't, and then I realized why it happened, and I was like, okay, yeah, no, we're, yeah, good, yeah. we're good. No, I'm not demotivated at all. But like I said, I'm just doing this. It's just still like for me, YouTube's just a hobby. I just do it when I feel like it. It's just I'm just uh. doing it for fun, man. And you know, like I say, I always just enjoy making videos. And I'd get bored if I didn't, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep making. That's videos. something I'm, I'm trying to, trying to get back into is enjoying yeah. everything about it. You know. What do you think? What do you do YouTube for? Is it a hobby? Is it a job? What, what are we thinking? 
it's awesome. not a job. It's definitely a hobby, but yeah. I hope one day I could turn it into a job. And you said the possibilities of that are a lot higher now. You see the, you see the potential. Yeah, yeah. You see it. Hopefully, hopefully I'm not just blinded, but yeah, you never know. I, I do. I, like I, I, said, yeah, I never know. Like I said, you're a pretty solid streamer, man. And like, thank you. you got oh, and yeah, you had that. I was at that one stream that one night where you got like a couple hundred dollars in donations. Oh yeah, that was crazy. That was insane, dude. Congrats that on was that. Insane. that was, I was Thank actually you. like, holy crap. How yeah, are there people out there that just got money to just toss around like that? I don't understand. I, I don't know. <laughs> it just happens, I guess. Yeah. I was very thankful and almost cried on stream, but didn't. Know. Yeah, that's. Oh, and then, then you threw it back. Yeah. I was there for then that. Then I threw it back. Yeah. Because like, <laughs> a few people raid me from this one separate community, streamers, and like their viewers have been watching me for a while now, and mm -hmm. that's like one of the normal things they do on their channels is throw it back and. Nice, nice. Yeah, they finally got me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> How would you say, like, your family has responded to your YouTube channel? Like, are at they just, first, like, supportive? Are they just, did they understand what's going on? Then not at all. Like, at yeah. first, they were, when I told them about that one TikTok that blew up, Yeah, I was like, Mom, it hit 500,000 views. She's like, ooh. Mom, I hit 1,000 subscribers. Oh, that's so cool. You know, she didn't really understand it. That's, but now that's that a lot they've of been more involved in the vlog, since they've that's, been more involved in the vlogs, like, yeah. they're... Yeah, I've seen that. And they're starting to understand and, a little more. And, oh, yeah. And now, now they give me ideas for content. They can use them. Do they? So Really? Yeah. <laughs> and you'd yeah. say they're obviously being pretty supportive through the whole thing and just... Yeah, they're doing way better. Now. And like your so friends as well. Oh, yeah. Friends. friends definitely like it. Most of them yeah. do. Some of them don't understand it, but it's yeah, okay. That's, that's fair. That's Again, that's something I got to do is just tell, kind of tell everybody I have a channel. Like, I don't know. Like, that yeah. definitely... Like, one of the first things you should do is just tell everybody, all your friends, they have a channel. It's a good way to get a few subs, obviously. Yeah. And I haven't even really oh, yeah. done that yet. So one of these days, I should probably do that. And like um, again. do any of your viewers, like real life friends, watch you at all? Uh, yeah, they know about it. Yeah, like some. I don't know how many. I guess I don't know. Quite a few of them though have brought it up. So yeah, yeah, I'd say they found they found it through ways. Do difficult. we have the same chair? We do. GTR. Do racing. we have the same chair? Yeah. GTR racing. That's not yo. <laughs> okay, that. I was looking on. I was looking on Amazon for gaming chairs. All I saw were red ones and white ones. So I was like, I gotta find a blue one or some yeah, other color. One, I got the blue. Right. It was very difficult. It said like they were out and like I think I ordered it in like April and it was supposed to like come in like mm -hmm. June, but it came in like early May or something, so that was nice. Yeah, okay, so yeah. I have a question, I think. Yeah. What's up? If it was able to become a job for you, what would you want your content to be about? Ooh. Like still the so same thing? So this kinda goes back to like the videos we asked like the last stream about video where would you rather just make videos or live streams? And I think uh -huh. I said I'd rather just do be a live streamer in that, but I think now I think I'd rather make videos because I'm a, obviously yeah. a lot better at that. I can like express myself in the videos. I don't want to sound like the English teacher, but I can like express myself better in the in the <laughs> videos with like the music I use and stuff. Right. So I think I'd much rather just make yeah, kind of the short, f funny videos. I guess I could call them that I make now. I don't. Know. I just but like at the same time. Um, since you say that, I actually like making videos too as well. But I actually just barely got working with an editor. Ooh. And it's been more stressful for me to have someone else edit my videos than myself. So would so. you rather have an editor? Or like, oh, absolutely not. No. Yeah, absolutely I, not. I really no would. Way. That would. I feel like that would just change the whole channel. Honestly, it would. I mean, maybe if the channel gets big and someday I can like afford an editor. But for now, I think I can. I can handle it myself. And yeah, your edits like, are amazing, by the way. Thank you. Thank I wish you. I could edit like that. And I like. I like the short style content. Honestly, I think your type of more of the long, longer style. Like yeah. uh, for. Like the okay. vlogs, like the vlogs and stuff. Your vlogs yeah. are like thirteen ish minutes, and I, I like just to make it's the, like a week, a week of footage. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I just like to keep uh, everything short to the point because nowadays people have attention spans of like five seconds. So I just kind of exactly if TikTok, I can talk, I'm telling you, exactly. That's literally what TikTok <laughs> is. It actually is. What, are you still? Yeah. Are you still doing your TikTok? Um. Yeah. I I used to do it every day because of that one video, but now yeah. I do it every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Three videos from the live stream and almost yeah. at three thousand followers. So. Are you nice? nice yeah. Nice. And wait, what? What are the requirements to get verified on TikTok? Um, I, I don't even know. I thought it was like, like there's so many I'm people. Just, like it's so easy I don't to really get traction. To, yeah, it's good stuff. It gives you. Is it, do people come from TikTok? Say in your live streams that they've actually come over yes. from like TikTok. Videos? Yes. That that helps, bro. They See that, that, that's uh, stuff I got to work on. Is like, it's like the branding and stuff. Because I just upload videos. I don't like have a Twitter or anything really. I mean, I did start a Twitter that got leaked in the Discord, but there's like I got like four followers. But yeah, right. like that, that's again, that's something you're way better at is all that other stuff. And I'm just pretty good at I making do videos nice to do it all yeah. it, it, after a while. It just come, becomes like a schedule, you know? Yeah, I know. Like Instagram, that. Twitter, TikTok. Yeah, like back in back when uh, everybody was quarantined, it just became a regular thing for me to just make a video every single day. And now it's not yeah. a regular thing for me to make a video every day. So I just 
it's kind of hard see, to, when you fall out of that cycle for sure. But what, what yeah. you used to do, I can never do that. Like it nine was, or 10 hours a day for a it video. Was awful. Oh, well, sometimes, yeah, it was terrible, but I had nothing else to do all day. But so. it always paid off because the videos were always. Yeah. Fine. Thanks, man. <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah. yeah. And, oh, oh, and I, I used iMovie for those little videos and now I finally upgraded uh, to the final, final cut pro. So there we go. You use Final Cut Pro? Yeah, now I use Final Cut Pro. I'm on the Do you like it better? Well, I'm on the free trial now. Yeah, because it's literally just iMovie on steroids because Apple made it as well. So uh-huh. it's, it's literally just like the same thing as iMovie, except like all the features that I wanted to see in iMovie are in there. You ever heard of Adobe much. Premiere Pro? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. I could use that, but honestly, Final Cut Pro is just the same thing as iMovie, except a lot better. So I'm probably going to use that yeah. instead. But yeah, they're yeah. probably pretty similar, obviously obviously but. for some reason i've always had a bad stigma about iMovie that's why i never used it just because like so. i don't know but like hey it's good you've been using it and yeah it gets the job worked done. out perfectly <laughs> and like the thing is adobe premiere was that like 20 bucks a month oh yeah but see no more than that it's like 250 it? a year but since i go to i mean uh college yeah, yeah. whoops too bad but no um Yikes. since i go to college um yeah i get it discounted yeah and then it, whereas final cut pro is like 300 bucks one time payment you're done. So I think honestly, at the end of the day, Final Cut Pro is a lot better for me just because I have seven years of experience with iMovie and it's all it's, the it's like shortcuts pay. and stuff. Yeah, three hundred bucks. That's it for one time. So Not it's bad. good stuff. So yeah, Final I feel Cut like Pro. if I went to different editing software, that would take forever to learn again and just too much for me. You think so? Personally, yeah. Uh, let's see. How long have you been learning Adobe Premiere? Um, since I started doing it in February. So since February, I feel like I barely made any progress, but I probably I have so. a little bit. I make so, basic ooh. cuts, zooms, adjustment layers. That's zooms. about it. That's about it. Yeah, I mean, pictures. I, it does take a lot of time. Like I said, yeah, I got like seven years into it. So, but yeah, thing some I, of the stuff you can do is crazy for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's kind of just natural to me. I guess I don't know. But yeah, yeah, for sure, dude, for sure. What do you got for like a setup? Like a computer? What would you like? What's the setup, man? I just got a laptop here. Like, what's a good like computer suggestion or something? I just I'm dying. Um, this, this do you know what kind of is. any components in the in the laptop right now at all? No, nothing. So, Nothing. so I guess I, I'm just stupid. Rip. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It takes a while to learn that too. But I got the, I got the, um, a decent CPU, a decent GPU, but I could definitely up both of them. And I'm wondering, cause this webcam quality is still pretty bad. I wonder if I want to do the webcam quality yeah, yeah. or the graphics card yet. Yeah. That's next, what I, was like, I want to get a new face cam on. So I, I went with the off brand one. I don't like it at all. Really? Yeah. Just, There's so many more things I got to improve. Just, I finally got a studio light though. There's an actual yeah. Oh yeah, I've been I've been meaning to get one of those. I need to put one like right got, here. Got the Pikachu behind me though, so that's good. Yo, that's nice. Ooh. <laughs> that is. Oh, I still can't see the zombies. Oh, the zombies You're is right here. Though. That's all right. Zombies so, should be back there though. Someday huh? you gotta put that back though. Sure, yeah. <laughs> For all the zombies, OGs. Right. Sure. You know Raffle Waffles. Yes. You think he's ever gonna come back? Hopefully. I don't know, man. I mean, I, I only bought it the poster from him, so hopefully yeah, he comes back. I saw him. I saw him teasing on Twitter, so hopefully he comes back to us. Noah's crazy. Like Noah's still, dude. Noah is killing right it. Now. Yeah, were you watching the reveal event and stuff? I was. Like I, the hundreds, I, 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 hundred and something yes, thousand. Yes. Dude, it was so good to see the COD community like that. Like oh, everybody yeah. was back. I and miss it, it. Yeah, for sure. And then the zombies community was just solving the ciphers. It was, it was good stuff. Mm-hmm. See the power of the zombies community. That's yeah, what I grew up it, in, and now all these kids are growing up playing Fortnite. You know. Yeah, that's <laughs> tough. That's tough. And playing. Just kidding. Modern just warfare. Kidding. Real. Yeah. And like, it's bit Hopefully like the last time. Back. Like twenty, it gives me twenty sixteen vibes. Seeing everybody just coming together, grinding right. cod, it's good stuff. Has yeah. Smith plays stepped away from Fortnite, or is he still on that train? Uh he's yeah, he's definitely moving away from it. He posts like reaction videos now, uh, a That's couple funny. zombie ret- retrospective videos in. Like he does like one Fortnite video a week now. So yeah, he's, he's starting to move away from it. He sees that the new cod coming out, Fortnite's kind of dying. He's definitely. Have you heard away. of a YouTuber named Pack a Puncher? Yeah, I hate that guy. I think. Yeah. Um. Is, I was watching Smith plays during Revelations, and mm-hmm. he rated Pack a Puncher at ten thousand subs, and I've been watching him ever since. And now he just at two million just post Fortnite yeah, stuff. I really so that's one way to get washed up. <laughs> I really don't respect Pack a Puncher at all because he's the type yeah. of guy he went. You remember like the Fortnite Cube event? Yes. He was just putting the clickbait in the title. It's happening right now. It's happening right now. Even though it was like a day away, and he was just like doing the fake giveaways every five minutes. It was just, uh-huh. and it it's was still up. wild that it's the smith plays rated him yeah but that, that was a lot. i respected him back when he did zombies but now that he's kind of just mm-hmm. like the clickbait yeah live stream i, I actually hate him i'm, so, I'm sorry <laughs> i think pat's i think pat's even called him out honestly so the probably smith plays so i don't know i don't like i haven't watched him in a long time he said he recently hit two million so that's yeah yeah he's one one year older than me too 
it kind of makes me sad, honestly, to see him <laughs> succeeding, I guess. But I don't know. I guess good for him. He's figured it out. So good work yeah. in, that, in that sense. Should we talk about the new games, upcoming games? Yeah, you should. I, had that, I had an upcoming games question in my Q&A video. I don't play a whole lot of games, so I just had like the new GTA whenever that eventually comes out. The new cop. <laughs> yeah. And that's about it. It finally comes out. Yo, what, is that okay, going to come so, out in 2021, finally? Um, I don't know. I, I just know Rockstar hates GTA because... Whenever they announce yeah. like a new Red Dead or something like that, everyone's like GTA Six, GTA Six, and everyone <laughs> oh my God. It well, gets mad just, at them for not having GTA Six. <laughs> they just need to make it, like right. I swear, people have been saying for the last like five years GTA Six is going to come out, so it's about time. <laughs> it's taking a long time for is, sure. Is twenty twenty one the year? Uh, hopefully, I think it is. Rockstar needs to do something. I, I don't know. Bounces. Um, Amazon's making a game. Amazon's making a game now. Oh no! Yeah, it's what, when about he builds that. colonization of America. So it'll be kind of fun, like kind of like really? Assassin's Creed in a way, I think. Amazon, okay, that's new. that's new. And they're rebranding Twitch Prime as Prime Gaming, so that maybe they're making a whole, whole Ooh, gaming. So they changed everything. Games. Really? Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I guess I don't really know anything about Twitch or anything. I like, I used to do Twitch, back when, no one watched my streams. Right. I don't. Really, I don't like Twitch that much. Like I. I personally like it a lot more because the quality is better. But. What do you mean by that? How do you? Like so, for example, YouTube goes live. The quality, like the encoding of a, like the stream from you to them, is not as good. But then on yeah. Twitch, everything's still perfect because Twitch pays for it. Hmm. And I personally think if YouTube stepped up a little bit and like mm-hmm. flipped the switch on like like live streaming, they could crush Twitch. Yeah, they probably could. Because YouTube's a like, giant. How do you? Yeah. It is. How do you? How do you stick out on Twitch? How do you get new people? Because I think on Twitch, everybody's doing the same thing. It's just a bunch of Fortnite game. I, 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 <laughs> I've been able to do it from like bringing viewers from, from YouTube, YouTube over to Twitch. Twitch. And, and how like many Instagram over to Twitch and stuff? Yeah, and how many followers do you have on on Twitch now? I think after uh, four hundred fifty after that twelve hour. Four fifty. So it's not too bad. No. Not, not any not, not any YouTube levels, but like it's not too bad. And why do you? Why do you see like, growing the Twitch and the YouTube? Like, aren't you just gonna stream on one of them one day? What's the point of growing the Twitch and the YouTube? One day I want to be able to stream on YouTube and post videos to. I mean, stream on Twitch and post videos oh, to YouTube. Like highlight videos, like uh, Mr. T. Like highlight videos or like, like any. I don't know. Yeah. It depends how much time I have. I usually take up all these things that I want to do and realize I don't have that much time. But like, yeah, definitely. I like I, I said, that's definitely, that's definitely the smart thing to do is just grow yeah. your channel as big as you can on every single social media site. But all I have is, <laughs> I get all I have is YouTube. But hey, yeah, we're figuring it out. We're but at the same out. time, I get new viewers from Twitch and then bring them back to YouTube. So yeah, it it's works, just it works both like a, ways. Kinda. Yeah, it does sometimes. But again, so you wouldn't say like a lot of people are discovering you through like Twitch. I usually get about one or two new followers from Twitch. Without yeah. even try, like people like how do, how do people even I don't even understand how people find your stream on Twitch. Like, how, do what? how do people like just f- come across your stream on Twitch? Um, like, if you I look don't... up a category, usually if you get stuck between ten and twenty yeah. viewers, you're in with thousands of other people. But yeah. sometimes somehow you'll stick out, and I found that it just yeah. depends. So again, but I feel like the more people that click on it, the more your channel gets moved up in search rankings. Mm-hmm. And that's how it is on YouTube as well. And but. there's like any S- SEO boosts on Twitch or anything. No, not, not, not that I've found. There, there might be, really? but so it's just all search algorithms and or all all up to the yeah. algorithm, which is never very. But see, reliable. Twitch doesn't have it right either, because yeah. Twitch needs to. Because like once your channel goes offline on Twitch, it's over. It's, but if yeah. your channel goes offline on YouTube, your stream publishes, and then therefore there's still a video there, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, so Twitch so. needs to step up their game a little bit too. Think so. Hmm. Yeah. But Twitch is still like, like Mixer. Didn't Mixer's gone, isn't it? Oh yeah, Mixer. Mixer so Twitch is just down. the unanimous streaming yeah. software for it's everybody. It's still, I think YouTube's barely below, but I'm pretty sure Twitch is still the biggest one. Yeah, you think you think it's always going to be, or you think someday YouTube's going to overtake it? If YouTube just thinks about it a little gets, harder, they could easily just destroy it. Yeah, for so. sure. Because YouTube's paid people to come over to like to YouTube from Twitch, like some of the big guys. Oh yeah, bro. But then yeah, a lot like, of people are picking yeah. Facebook gaming. I would yeah, never why ever Facebook. Try Facebook. <laughs> it's literally just the boomers. Like what? They're not yeah, gonna want to watch your force. No one. Like, no do, one. do you actually use Facebook? I never. I don't even. No, I had it when I was like maybe in sixth grade, but like. Yeah, no, I never. don't. I don't know anyone who actually like uses Facebook, besides <laughs> like my parents. That's about it. Right. Right. Exactly. And my, my grandma uses Facebook. So why would I exactly. Facebook, you know? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> like she's not gonna know what Fortnite is. Right. It's just all right. Like the cultural differences between the old people and us now, like our uh, grandparents actually just don't understand like electronics at all. It's so crazy to see how much we've like changed as a generation through just like two generations, man. Just imagine what we're gonna be like when our generation's Bro, old. Do people. you think? Like, you know, 
Are we going to be able to understand technology when we're like 70? I, oh. I think we will. Oh, yeah, for sure. Definitely. We're, we're like our our kids it, right? and our grandkids will definitely, like, I, I feel like we'll be in a whole different world by that time. But we're probably going to be smarter than, like, a lot smarter than them with technology, like, contrary yeah, to our grandparents, because we'll be working with it for, with, like, 50 years. So, bro, as gonna, far as the coronavirus gonna... goes, how long do you think it will last for? Uh, honestly, in my state right now, I think, I think we're, like, good to go. I just... I think we're just. I don't know, man. I just want. I'm to, hoping it's. Over I really by want December. it to be over. Over by December, you think? That I, might be too. F- like that seems very optimistic, but something tells me it's going to go on for just so long. And yeah. like, I was looking like New York had like no deaths one day, and they're still just like not even reopening. So I don't know when anybody's going to want to reopen. Hopefully, this isn't like a new normal. Whenever something like this happens, we just. Yeah. I don't know, dude. We're just Hopefully quick to act and shut normal. everything down. It's it's actually awful. It needs. I need to end, please. It's really. def- yeah. It's definitely, but like. I don't know. You can't do anything like, about it. Like, like, right away for like, the first like couple months, I was like, you know, being an introvert and all, I was okay with just like staying home, making a few videos, yeah. going to a few online classes. But now, even for me, it's just getting to be too much. I just want to go to school and see my friends and not. Is, have is my... school going to be in person for you? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you said that for yeah. now it is. But like, I was talking like administration. They're like, well, like, okay, we have like uh, I don't know what you call her, like the front office lady for our mm-hmm. school. She's very like, she'll be real with you. She'll be real with yeah. you. And I was like, all right. How long is school gonna be? She's like, hopefully we get a month in before we have to <laughs> shut down. So she thinks we might be shut down after like a month. Because like, yeah. I, I think if one kid gets a, if test positive, we're just gonna like shut the whole school down. So you never know. So all these schools could open back up and, the, and it could flare. But if it doesn't I mean, flare, it then bit. like and honestly, like with young people, they're not even that. It's not even that the coronavirus doesn't even like do that much to them. They're not mm-hmm. young people aren't dying, so it's it's tough. Yeah, it's definitely tough. <sighs> yeah, it's come like what are the chances? That we but, live yeah. in this time that with oh, bro. right, yeah, and like I was, I didn't expect that it would go on this long. Honestly, like I thought, me right, neither. I'm just gonna get an extended summer now, but now I might get a very, very extended I, summer. Yeah, like when it first started in March or whatever it was, February, I was yeah. thinking to be done by August. And now we're yeah, still in and it. Now we're still. Yeah. I haven't looked at the number of cases in a while, but I'm pretty sure they've either gone it's, up or gone down. I, it's a lot of my viewers are from California, and they're telling me that oof. it's still pretty bad over in California. So yeah, California. Oof. Yeah, that's tough, man. I think it's kind of starting to flatten out, but it's kind of a high number flattening out, so I don't know. It's tough. I'm, I'm very... It is. I'm really hoping my year doesn't get ruined, honestly. But I think right. there's, there's a good chance that it, that it could. And, like, for our local, like, baseball teams, they couldn't play, so they just had to make their own, like, independent private leagues because they couldn't be, like, school-sponsored or anything otherwise because uh-huh. the schools can't do it. I might have to do something like that with my basketball team or something. We might have to do right. that because I, are... I just need to be able to do stuff. Right. What are your favorite kinds of movies? Movies. Oh, no. See, oh, man, like all my viewers know that I'm not very cultured. I haven't watched a whole lot of movies. Like, <laughs> yeah. But, like, like, I'm not even, like, Star Wars. Never watched. Like, I have, okay. <laughs> like, in music class, we've watched them before, but I've never actually, like, paid attention to the movies, so I don't know yeah. what's going on. Do you like superheroes at all? Ooh, the, like the Marvel Universe and stuff. Never watched <laughs> those either. I watched never? Endgame. I watched Endgame. That's about it. What did you watch growing up? <laughs> what did I watch growing up, dude? That's that's <laughs> a great question. I don't even know. Call of wow. Duty, Black Ops 2, right? Yeah, Black Ops 2 videos. Honestly, like TV TV shows, I watch Supernatural on Netflix. That's about uh-huh. it. That's a good show. It's it's like 15 seasons long, so that's that's lasted me like a couple a of, of years. A lot of my actually. friends tell me to watch. You ever heard of Game of Thrones? Yeah, I've heard of it. I don't know anything about it. But... It's definitely a little risque, but... I definitely so, like it. That's I like move. those kind of films. Yeah. Movies. Yeah, like I don't really like watching movies and tv all that much because i don't know i kind of i kind of think it's wasting time honestly but you know yeah i'll get a couple episodes in here and there yeah so i was gonna say something about that i forgot yeah. it dang yeah for oh sure. um from that do you still find yourself watching the same amount of content compared to Ooh. producing it or do you find Ooh, yourself not watching right, as much youtube all right. anymore all right we can go through content creators um <laughs> i'd say i'm still watching the same amount of same amount of youtube videos i watch yeah, I watch quite a bit a day. Maybe I could probably pull it up. Maybe like an hour, hour and a Not half. Bad. I, I don't know. That's kind of a lot, honestly. But something I still watch all the old like Smith plays, Mumbo Jumbo, Logan Paul. I still watch those guys. I, I still though. watch Logan Paul. Yeah, like I, uh, yeah, I kind of like when if I start making vlogs, I'm probably gonna take inspiration from those, just like shorten to the point. I, I've like, been thinking about it lately because of how you think you're gonna change your David style Dobrik a did it, and then Logan yeah. did it, and now TikTok's blowing just, up. So therefore. Shorter vlogs might be the way. I just, I just think it's way more interesting, honestly, to have yeah a lot more short to the point videos 
and because mm-hmm. then you get a lot more epic moments. Just you can keep all the epic moments, but just get them closer together, and then it keeps right. people more intrigued. I think. But I haven't yeah. made a vlog yet, so I have like so much footage. I've been recording for like months, and I yeah, I haven't even made one yet. But yeah, it's fair. So hopefully those are pretty. Are you thinking any other like different types of content? Think of anything else you want to maybe? You got the Minecraft series. You've got your Fortnite live I have streams. New Call of Duty. A lot of ideas for what I could do next, but I definitely have a lot of things planned and like in the works right now too. Mm-hmm. That I can't really say on a podcast yet. Okay, but, that's fair. You know. Keeping it on the down low. All right. Yeah. Because for me personally, I think I'm just going to continue. Call of Duty, Minecraft, and Fall Guys. You played Fall? Yeah, you played Fall oh, Guys. I've seen yeah. it. Yeah. See. Yeah, I have. I I was really late to that game because I wanted to record my like real reaction. I finally did that a couple days ago, and people were like hyping that up to me. I thought like people were telling me to play it. I thought it was gonna be like Fortnite season two amount of fun, <laughs> and I thought it was all right. It kind of got a little old for me after a couple hours. Yeah. I guess, but what do you think? What do you think of Fall Guys? Does it deserve the hype? It's, I personally, I at first, I definitely when it first came out, I saw all these big streamers playing, and I definitely saw yeah. it as, oh, here we go, another grown man kids game, you know, <laughs> Fortnite was. Yeah. But then, but then now it's like it's actually really fun. Like I enjoy yeah. it. My viewers like making fun of me because I can't win a game, but can't. it's for oh. sure fun. Okay, well I've only played like five games, but you haven't won yet. How many? How many games do you think you played without a without uh, a victory? I put two hours into it on the twelve hour stream. Probably about four, three or four hours into it. Mm-hmm. No wins. That's tough. That's it. Do you, do you still play video games outside of YouTube or no? That's a very good question. I honestly no. I really don't. I only play when I record. That's literally it. So I Me wouldn't too. even call my like I said, like I want to like, you know. I think my big goal. I just want to like entertain people. I want to be an entertainer. Right. And like if that's through my playing video games, then I'm gonna do that. So I wouldn't even call myself like much of a gamer really, because I just play games to get footage. That's about it. I'd like never do it outside of YouTube. So. Same. And if I was like. Same. If people were enjoying the videos by, by like making vlogs, I'd probably make like a few more vlogs and then become like a vlogger. Maybe uh-huh. I don't know. So I would just kind of whatever people are enjoying, I guess. But again, you got to kind of do what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely no. I only play to record footage. And I, I definitely, just, I definitely yeah. do not play games on stream anymore. Like, bro, when I was younger, I used to just like play all day. But now I just I get Same. bored so quick. I get bored so it's, quick. It's true. I, I feel <laughs> every, everything about that. It's so true. And like, dude, I go back to like old games I used to play, and they're just like they're fun for a bit, but then they just get old. They just don't yeah. hit the same, which is weird. But yeah. yeah, which I'm kind of okay with. Like, I don't. Right. It's probably good to not play games all day, like I used to. Like, it used to be really bad for me, honestly. Yeah. Like, I would spend like all summer just like playing games. But yeah. Yeah. But I guess it's kind of paid off because now I got the skills, so I can. Right. Get some good there content, you go. I guess maybe. But yeah, for sure. I just would. So you're the same. You don't ever. You nope. Just play to I try to, it. but I don't know. No, I just don't have fun. Like, I'll play with like some viewers here and there, maybe a zombies game because they ask, and I just think. I think that once again, that's one of the fun things with YouTube is just finding new people. If they want to play yes. zombies game, I'll play with them here and there. So yeah, that's zombies. About it, is, zombies is cool. Zombies I miss zombies good. definitely. And yeah, you know, the thing about zombies, like I, what I've come to realize with zombies is just because it's like such so much fun. I don't even like. I don't even think any maps are bad anymore. I just enjoy everything, really, with it. So I don't know. It's just fun. You know game the one map I've never played. Mm. Zetsubo. You're missing. You're it. missing out. People would say. People would say you're not missing out, but you're missing out. I'm sorry. It's a good map. It's a good map. <laughs> I just have very bad arachnophobia. Really? Is that actually is that actually why you don't want to? Actually, yeah. I've, I've I've actually had people tell me that in my streams. I was like, wow. Like that's like, so. Weird. I've been playing. Not, yeah, not even about the not even about how bad people say it is, but I've been doing mm-hmm. the whole RL craft like Minecraft mod pack. Yeah. And it makes Minecraft insane, right? Yeah. And like I've spiders that. look like actual spiders, and I can't even yeah. really handle it. Really? That's weird. Arachnophobia. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any other phobias? Do I have any phobias? No, just. Um, just arachnophobia. I do you have really like, hate do you have like tryptophobia or whatever? You look at all the circles and you know what I'm no. talking about? You know, I don't, just spiders. I don't know if I have any I phobias. That's weird. I didn't know arachnophobia was so common, I guess, because, yeah, I've had a couple <laughs> people tell me they didn't. Wow, that's weird. That's, hmm. I, hate, I hate spiders for sure. Really? There was a baby even, one in my bed the other day. <laughs> I was, I was freaked out. that. <laughs> but even if it's just like a like just some pixels on the screen, even that's like... As a spider, that's just oh, really that's interesting. I, I hate it. When I was like twelve, I used to make my nine-year-old brother come and kill him for me. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah, can't. <laughs> that's I can't do him. It's funny. Yeah, you gotta, my, you gotta play my that favorite map superhero is Spider-Man, so that's funny too. What? <laughs> Honestly, probably <laughs> same. No probably <laughs> same. He's there's something about Spider-Man that's just it's cool. Right. Oh to, yeah. I used to grow up watching oh, yeah. a lot of Spider-Man. There you go. I grew up watching Spider-Man. There you yeah, go. I would just watch those like animated cartoon shows that's they were good, a lot though. of those i didn't watch a whole lot of movies or nothing they were good spider-man and his amazing friends that's good that stuff. was a good one do you actually know that oh let's go dude. yes 
I'm, uh, I'm, like, I'm not kind of like a diehard Marvel fan. I'm kind yeah. of a nerd a little bit. Are you? Are you? Star Wars, like, Marvel. You know everything comics. about that stuff? Yes. Really? I don't. I, yes. I don't. I'm actually clueless. Like, it's literally just become a meme on my channel that I'm uncultured. And, like, <laughs> I just tell people. I'm also. I have... Yeah. Th this one will surprise you. I'm also very fond of uh, of Pixar. Those are all the Pixar cool. characters by me, but I, I love yeah. Pixar for some reason. I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's cool. I need to. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Pixar. Like I said, I'm just uncultured. Like, I tell my viewers that I've, like, I haven't watched the Star Wars movies, and they just, like, freak out on me. We've literally held a movie night on the Discord. We watched yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. It didn't, it kind of flopped. Not a whole lot of people showed up, but, you know, because we were just, yeah. like, we had somebody just, like, record his screen from his phone and live stream that, and it was, that was our movie night. There was a couple <laughs> people there, but, yeah, it was. Not too bad. It was fun. It was, it was a good idea. Uh, how, how's your Discord been working out for you, would you say? Your Discord um, server? Have you? Oof. Like, did it not work out for you very well? Because I think I've checked on there and it didn't seem all that active, honestly. Yeah, no, no, no. no. I, I, all my viewers are like really savvy with it, like a few of them are. So, like, so? I got all the people in there. I mainly use it as a separate form of Twitter, just an announcing whenever I'm going live or like yeah. a video post. So, not like a but, whole lot of like talking to people on there. Or... But for about a week, I was like, oh, yeah, I've had this thing. I don't want to talk to anybody. So now I've been trying to be more active on it as much yeah. as I can. Yeah, dude. Because I think, like, I don't know, man. Like, there's just something. People really like that. Just talking to their co talking to the content creator. Mm -hmm. Like, there's just something that I don't know. It, just, it works out really well. And that Discord for me has been a great suggestion. Thank you, Nacho, for suggesting that a long time ago. <laughs> and yeah, it's really worked out well. Our Discord server, even though we go through like a lot of beef, like every single week we have like problems with our server. People yeah. get mad at each other, so it's kind of caused some tension in the community. But you know, at the end of the day, one I of think my favorite parts about my my server is like that happens every now and again. People ban each other, but like, yeah, because I gave admin to a few different people. Sure. I don't know why, but uh, then, um, <laughs> but at the same time, they make some really funny fan art. So that's great. Ooh, and yeah. like meme art, you know, fan so art. that's one of my favorite. Yeah, I remember parts. when I made my fan art channel, somebody was like, "Hey, I made you fan art." I was like, "Whoa, okay, we'll make an entire channel for fan art." I didn't expect to get that much, but then people nope. just like started yeah. going off. It's crazy, dude. How much it is. How like you how generous people are. Sure. Honestly, dude. I'm like, whoa. Like, people would take the time to make this fan art. It's crazy. It's like... It's cool. It's some, one of the coolest things, for sure. Mm -hmm. It really is. And then, yeah. And, dude, we have, like, this whole channel for, like, artists. I didn't know everybody in the world's, like, a good artist, but we have just a channel <laughs> for, like, people's artworks, and there's so much good stuff in there. I'm amazed uh -huh. by, like, the stuff that people make. What, are you good artist? a good artist? Um... In Photoshop, know. kind of. <laughs> no, not even, not even. Bro, I am not even. I swear, everybody's posting that channel something just amazing, and I'm just, I'm just awful. Like, I, so it's... I tried to, to draw a mock-up of a shirt for my friend who's going to design the one design for oh, me yeah. for the merch, mm -hmm. and it looks like a five-year-old <laughs> it, so I'm, I'm not that good of an artist. <laughs> yikes, yikes. Yeah, that's yeah. tough. That's tough. Let's see, what are we We thinking? could do that, or we could talk about, like, in 10 years, Ooh. what you, I don't know. That'd be All cool. Right. We could go the very long job interview for him. What do you, what do you think in 10 years, where you'll be? Yeah. That question? <laughs> Yeah, that question. Bro, can we, can we even answer that question? That's so far away, dude. Oh, it's a long way. It's for sure. We can, we can set goals, I guess. Oh, in 10 years. Okay, here's the thing. I was talking with my friend Nacho. It mm -hmm. was like New Year's, New Year's Eve, right before the ball dropped, right before the new year. I was like, bro, that, that was our like childhood decade. And now mm -hmm. in this next 10 years, by the end of this decade, we're like supposed to have like kids and stuff because we're going to be like... Right. I'm like, bro, that's, that's crazy to comprehend. I can't even... I'm like so far away from children that like On, in well, 10 years, too. I'm supposed to have kids. I'm like, bro. That's insane to Honestly. think about. So in ten years, I don't really know if I could say where I'm gonna be, but like, hopefully, yeah, hopefully the channel's like I don't know, a million subs in ten right? years. Right, that's what I'm hoping. A million. That's, that's, a good that's goal. honestly ten years, a million subs. Honestly, I'm kind of hoping for more than that. I guess mm -hmm. it's like I've, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just hoping someday, like one of my videos gets traction, maybe some people will enjoy right. it, and maybe maybe a shout out from a big creator would help as well. If someday that happens, that'd be cool. Like, have you I, had any? Was, have you had any check marks yet? I had one guy show up. Uh, yeah. Jules something. He showed up to one stream. They're Usually, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was chilling. I was, I don't know, I've had like a couple like checkmark channels, but they're just like channels that just come and comment to like try to get you to go check them out. And they're always live streaming and doing fake giveaways and stuff. Yeah. So I kind of thought he was one of those it. channels, so I kind of hated on him a little bit. But no, he, he was yeah. chill. I haven't seen him back since then, but yeah, he showed up. He had 150,000. I was, was streaming Minecraft for like the streaming. first time ever, and I think I had like eight viewers, and then a guy with 500,000 who posted that's Minecraft insane. content came in. It was so cool. That, that's insane. Oh, yeah. And like, yeah, dude, someday, like I said, if I ever have a big channel, I think I would be doing stuff like that. 
Oh uh, yeah, it'd be wasteful. Like one of the wasteful. things I've never understood is like why don't like YouTube creators like respond to comments? Like I go into like every big YouTuber's video and there's just like they're not responding to any comments. Maybe they'll respond right? to one. But like dude, if I comment on like a Smith plays video and he responded, I'd be like freaking out. Oh. So I think you could make a lot of people's days and make them keep coming back if you just responded their to their comments. Like I like twelve thousand comments, that'd be a lot. I mean, I uh, least, yeah, yeah, not all of them. them. Yeah, well, I would I could spend like an hour a day just responding <laughs> to comments, honestly. Like just yeah. plan it out throughout the day. So that's something that's I would something, do. That's something that's something I started like like shying away from, but now I've been doing better doing that. And replying to Instagram DMs and Twitter oh, mentions man. and doing my best. Yeah, for sure. To keep I think that's just that. a big part, big part in keeping people back. Uh uh-huh, definitely. That and Uploading consistently. What else do you think for bringing people back? Consistency, consistency, interacting. interacting. I mean, good content, I guess. Like good people, content. People show up. Switching up a little bit. Like, Switching yeah. up every now and again. I mean, the first thing I guess first and foremost is like, you think making good content is the first step to like having a su- successful channel, or do you think like interacting with people is better, or what do you? I think interacting is the best. I, can, I, can see I that. think. I think Ooh, the, okay, yeah, that's true. That's true. Because comes up, comes after as you slowly work like more towards and like grow a fashion like, viewership. Look, looking at my live streams, my live streams are actually terrible. Like the gameplay is awful. I'm just sitting there like mining. But I think I, the, the reason people watch is I have the chat up in the corner. They can see themselves typing. And yeah, mm-hmm. you're you're right. I think that's it. Whenever whenever I stream my my, my uh, Twitch subscriber world only, like I have a community server for like Twitch subs on on uh, Twitch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And anytime I stream now, I'll stream for like two and a half hours and I'll literally realize I've, not, I've done nothing except run around. So therefore, I feel that same. Yeah, that same yeah, yeah I always feel like my content is just terrible. But people somehow <laughs> stay and watch me. Do you get that feeling of how are people actually watching me right now? Minecraft's it's, it's so different weird. though. Minecraft's hard to play and talk to chat. It, it really is. is. It really is. Like all my viewers, like they take the world seed and they go into their creative worlds and build their own houses. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. So I just like, I'm a terrible builder. So I just walk around and get like two things done in like two hours and everybody else. That's why I kind of got fortunate with Fortnite because I can just play Fortnite. Yeah, I've been that's, playing that's, for so long. I just know how to do it. It's kind of like autopilot in a way. Yeah. So it's kind of a lot easier, I, can just, I suppose. Yeah. That's fair. Sometimes thinking, they'll, they'll give me crap for being able to kill people while looking at chat. So really just cause like, it's just so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it happens. Have you ever thought about like, didn't you try the community Minecraft world to that? Didn't you try um, that for like the 24 hour? Uh, yeah. I think a little bit. Yeah, that, I, I've tried that. it before. That's why I made it just for the Twitch subs because they asked me if they could have one more benefit for Twitch subs and mm-hmm. I gave them that. And anytime I open up a world for anybody on, on YouTube, every single time it get griefed and there's just no oh, point in it. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a, that's a huge problem for me too. Yeah. Is griefing. griefing is. We're still trying to, like, we literally play on like consoles so there's not a whole lot of like measures we can take to like ban people mm-hmm. and stuff. And it's really difficult. We're still struggling with that but hey, eventually we'll figure that out, I think. Right. Like yeah, yeah, that's something I've always had problems. With. I don't know why people just revoke, do that. Revoke everyone's uh, permission. Just, just give them only. Visitor. You guys could just walk around <laughs> the, only the world. Way to that's, do it. that's it. That's our community world. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. We gotta figure that out though. All right, let's see. Um, ooh, all right. Motivation, motivation. What like motivates you to keep your channel going? Like anything in life, like whatever. What what would you say is like your main driving factor? Just get stuff done. Whether it's a YouTube mainly channel being able to like produce content, see the feedback on it. Start feedback, a live stream, see yeah. everybody that's there, yeah. and like tell people they enjoy, like just the interaction between us gets me going for sure, yeah. and I just it's a good time. So would you say feedback is just like I feedback for me? That's always been the best part. It's always been the best part. Yeah, like I don't even care if people are like hating on me. Really, I guess as long as they watch right. the video, it's just it's good stuff. And yeah, I would say that's a big driving factor for for YouTube for sure, dude. Have you had that's any trolls part. yet? Uh, probably. Let's see. I guess I don't really. I don't really like. I don't get mad that he's like that often. Really. So if a I, troll I've comes in, a, I'll just like, okay, okay, you're you're cool, dude. Like a and month and a half ago, I had the same guy who kept naming himself exotic is a some sort of swear word, like some uh, form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and we we just kept banning him. He just kept coming back, Yo. and like it was just so funny that he take he, ten minutes taking, of his day to yeah, make I a know. new Gmail. <laughs> like, bro, you think yeah, he, he might be following you with those accounts? Maybe, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. I never right. really understood those people. I never just like take them that serious. I just. Nah, like, I don't I really never get, do. Like I said, I do you, do you get mad easy? I never, I never get mad. No, I, I, I've my, my my cousin has old clips of his old live streams of me like raging in Fortnite because I used to get really mad <laughs> yeah. at the game. Yeah. But ever since I started streaming, I just don't rage as much anymore. For some reason, I keep is that, myself more composed. That, I, I, that, I just don't get mad either. Yeah. Like, is that uh, yeah. is that Braden? Yes, yeah, it's his Braden. Braden, how, how's he doing? I haven't checked his channel in a while. I think it is. Um, he's doing good. He's uh, started school back up. He's been trying to do mm-hmm. I the, think... the, the streams. He's he's at six hundred subscribers I've now. Actually, so. Yeah, I've actually like hopped into a couple of the streams. He's had like 15, 14, 16 yeah, people. It's, he's doing good. He's it's doing crazy. Good like, sometimes that's that's what I got watching them. And like, Minecraft I always thought one of the you two both. You guys have both like like surprised me because I always thought a webcam was one of the most key components of growing a YouTube channel. Yeah, but you and Braden both did it for so long. Yeah, without having a webcam, and yeah, it definitely helps. It helps so much. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, um, 
I'm thinking, I'm thinking that might be it. Let's see. For sure. All right. Yeah, we can wrap it up. All okay. right. So I think, I think that's gonna do it, man. You know, I. All right. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was you a know, good time. Like I said, oh, and you thinking, you thinking 10k? We're gonna come back and do this. Is that is that the 10K. plan? 10k. That's Whenever a good that one. Happens, 2k. Yeah, I know. What did it take us? Yeah, how, how many months ago did we do the last one? For it was probably four. Th- four months ago. Four. Right, so. But see, you've grown. You're at 1.1k. You know, so you yeah. still. We both grown a little bit more since that, but therefore, if we do it exactly at 10k, you never know. It could be shorter. But yeah. So let's say when do we think? When do we think we're gonna hit 10k? How many? Are we talking years? Um, are we talking? We're probably talking years, aren't we? Ten K subs. Ooh, that's the so next much. podcast. That's actually so much, honestly. That's Let's a crazy hope number. by the end of next uh, end of twenty twenty one. That might be that's crazy, fair. but that's fair. That'll do it. That's fair. I think that's I think that's possible for both of us, honestly. Very much. We'll see. Because once you get the momentum going, it's going. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Thanks for coming on, dude. Appreciate it. Pre- hey, it's... appreciate you being here. Yeah, we'll for see sure, you for sure. next time. Yeah, and, have a great and, rest uh, your day. And... Thank you all so much for listening. Hey, yeah. Peace out, dude. We'll yeah. see you later. Yeah, see ya. All right.